Hey gang, James Sinclair here to help grow your business. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how we built a two businesses, two businesses in the coronavirus pandemic. But the business I really wanna talk about is business number one, which is a farm shop drive-through. You might be thinking, what's a farm shop drive-through, James? Well, the best way to describe it is if you think of a McDonald's drive through and you think of a farm shop, you sandwich the two together and that's what you've got. And in the first 15 days worth of trade, we've done £15,000 worth of sales, which I think is pretty good for a startup. And better than that, it's actually made some money which is contributing to our business. If you don't know me, our businesses usually we do about a million pounds worth of sales every single month, so 12 million pounds worth of sales. And right now it's gone, we're doing about 150 thousand pounds worth of revenue a month which is just from our day nurseries um, and we've got huge overheads we have a payroll of about half a million pounds and yes I know the furlough scheme is helping and sometimes hopefully we're gonna get through some of these Sybil's loans those of you that don't know the Sybil's loan is the coronavirus business interruption loan scheme but the entrepreneur in me knew that I needed to do something I knew that I needed to come out of this I'm writing a new book called the dream team I've been doing a podcast every single day which is called the James Sinclair's business broadcast I'm going to put a link in the video description of how you can go and check out my daily podcast where a lot of the time I'm coaching entrepreneurs we're recording it making it into great content to help grow your business but I've thought I'd give you a breakdown of exactly how this business is done, how we've got our initial flurry of customers. We're getting about 100 customers every single day. Um, I'll tell you about the average customer value that we're doing, daily sales, the highs, the lows, it's all coming. So I think I am start off with the numbers to give you some real context to this. And I've, I've put them up on this board here. We've got sales of 15,000 pounds. We've spent 8,000 pounds on stock um, and we've got a stock value of 2,500 pounds. So we're always sitting on about two and a half grams worth of stock. So you really need to add that back into your profit because that's cash that you own and you're gonna turn into cash. So, so 15,000 pounds worth of sales, we've spent 8,000 pounds. Most of this stuff is not vatable, so I haven't allowed for that in this because it's takeaway, there is not much VAT in it um, because there's not really, well, maybe that's gonna be coming into it in a big way soon when we start doing more product ranges. But at the moment, we've only got about 150 product lines. 15K is worth of sales, we spent 8K, obviously that leaves you with 2.5k uh, with 7k but we've we've got two and a half grand's worth of stock so the contribution to the business in this first two weeks of trading is 9,500 pounds which quite frankly I think is quite impressive for a startup business in a pandemic but let me go through some of the other things what have we capex you know what did we use to set the shop up well do you know what we did we got some tables that we had around the farm for those of you who don't know I own the farm park and this has been built next door to the farm park in a disused barn that we hardly ever use I'll, I'll overlay some videos and shots of me uh, so you right now so you understand what the farm park is so what about the capex well, so £2,700 on a freezer, but we had freezers in our kitchens and our restaurants. We've unplugged all of them, shoved that in there, but we did need a display chiller. So we got that involved. And we've also spent £250 on some baskets. Um, but I think there's about another 20K of CapEx to go. And with that £20,000, what do I think that's going to do as a revenue profit generator for us as a business? Well, I'll tell you, I think that we're going to have a business that does a million pounds worth of revenue a year at the moment the business is just a click and collect business you can't actually physically go into our shop and people have been spending just literally on our website circa a thousand pounds a day so I'm gonna times that by 365 the mathematicians in you that is 365 thousand pounds but I also rang and spoke to some other farm shops um, because I think it's really useful when you're setting up a business, go and speak to other people in the sector you're in and ask them what they're doing. They take 20% of their sales online and 80% physically in store. So I'm just sort of roughly doing this here. I'm thinking, well, if I'm doing nearly 400 grand um, in store, uh, online, sorry, I could do at least at least £600,000 if people come into our shop and actually saw our products. And so that's what we're doing. And also noticing that we have 200,000 people visit our farm park. And yes, you've guessed it, once this pandemic's over, I'm gonna route all the people that go through the farm park to exit through our farm shop. And they'll be able to go to their farm shop as a standalone thing as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how we can really get this business going. 
So once this is all over, I could be in a position where we've got a, another revenue stream that we're just bolting onto the existing business that generates another million pounds worth of sales. What about the margins? Let's talk about that. Well, the margins are not what I'm used to. But here's some things, and I've got some notes here on my board that I thought we would talk about. Um, we haven't got the existing overhead costs. So usually if you went and set up a farm shop, you would have new rent, new electricity, new rates. I'm already covering all that stuff. It's on our existing site. So that means that we can be a bit more keener with our margins. I mean, let me usually tell you what, when we run our, one of our restaurants at our site, if something costs us you know, one pound, we'll sell it for five pounds. A pound's for the cost, a pound for the staff, a pound for the overhead, a pound for the VAT man, and a pound for profit. That's how I usually price my stuff. And I create what I call a red, amber, green Excel spreadsheet where I put all my costs and add all this stuff in so that I know that we're doing what I call the times five ratio. But you can't times five for when you're running a farm shop people and never buy from you. If you bought in a product for a pound and tried to sell it for a five and they'll go, see you mate, I'm off to Tesco's and Sainsbury's. So we've had to come up with a solution where we've had to accept that we've got a lower margin. So you're making between 30 to 40% gross profit and it's, it's nearer the 30%, but you've got some products where you can make more on. So the margins are lower um, and we've had to make sure that we're doing weekly stock takes and I think we're going to update that into daily stock takes because when you're holding this much stuff, we, we've got for an alcohol license as well. I mean, we're learning this all on the fly. You know, people are saying, oh, can I put a bottle of wine on there? No, but luckily the local authority have given us permission to do that. So within two weeks, we'll be selling um, booths. And we found a local baker, so we're going to be doing local fresh bread as well. So we're really up in the game on our product range as well, which is all going to increase the average customer value. And let's talk about average customer value while we're here. When it comes to business, there's two real key ingredients for building a successful business. Number one is the love, want, and need. When people love what you do, want what you do, and need what you do, like food, they love food, they want food, they need food. I know maybe an iPhone, they love an iPhone, they want an iPhone, they need an iPhone, that's a great place to be. And this is with this farm shop. They love food, they want food, they need food. Most businesses are love and want, like the thing I've got next door, which is a visitor attraction. People love days out, they want days out, but they don't need days out. So in a pandemic, no one's buying. But this business is a startup in a pandemic and people are buying. So I'm really pleased about that. But what's really good, the other element of this, if you can get a business that's love, want, and need, tick, this one is, it's talking about average customer value, average lifetime value, and average transactional value. And because we're using this platform called Shopify, which is quite widely available, we can see the returning customers, how much they're spending on average, and their lifetime value and transactional value, and they predict what their lifetime value is going to be. So some people in the first two weeks have already, at the top end, spent 200 to 250 pounds with us. People are returning, and they're transacting once or twice a week. So I'm working out what the transactional value could be 52 times a year, the lifetime value, if we keep this going for 30 years, it's going to be huge. People could be worth 20 to 30 to maybe 50,000 pounds of lifetime value. With our day out business next door, the farm visitor attraction, people come once or twice a year. So the dynamics of this business is so much better because people transact more, the lifetime value is better, the average customer value is better. So we can reduce our margin knowing that people are going to transact with us more rather than a leisure attraction business. Here's some of the other things that I've also learned that we need to do in this business. Lost leaders. You're buying in milk and bread and supermarkets practically sell bread and milk for what they buy it in for. So we've had to follow suit. So some of your key stuff, you've got to bring people in with really good lost leaders so that people think you're really good value for money. And we're learning more and more about this. And I can't wait to make so much more content to all the stuff that I'm learning in this business. It's very different from my day nursery, soft play, etc., etc., so that I can help you grow your business. One of the other things is the brand development. I'm just going to show you here. Here is the original logo that we use because, you know, I said, look, we need to open it up, we need to get some trade. So we just put this shoddy logo together and it doesn't really feel wholesome and nourishing, but we just needed to get it up. And this is, I'm just going to put, this is what the original website looks like. But here's what's coming, ladies and gents. This is the new brand uh, that we've created, which is much more wholesome, much more in keeping with what a farm shop should be. 
And as that brand develops, we're gonna get ready for some way better marketing. The first website that we used was a freebie Shopify theme, but I knew it wasn't converting people as much as we should be. It was getting about a 3% conversion on the website, but knowing that we was an established brand, I thought, God, we should be getting more than that. You know, literally thousands of people are shopping and having a look, checking us out. Um, and that's what we've done, because we've got a good audience on Facebook, we've got a good email database. We, we just, we really hammered that and let people know. So they came in and checked us out but not enough people were converting. So we've now set up a paid for version of Shopify, the gold version. And I think that is going to increase our average customer value, get more people to buy. And here's some of my other great ideas that I've got. I wanna make this business a membership business. Whenever you can make people feel like members when they buy from you, it's fantastic. Costco, it makes you feel like a member. American Express, it makes you feel like a member. And therefore it drives loyalty. And I wanna do the same thing. So for $6.99 a month, people can be a member of their farm shop but they'll also get five percent off everything they buy in store online or in physical person and we're going to open this up as a physical shop next week where actually people can come in and shop because you understand the magnitude of this this wasn't even a business two weeks ago we've set it up online as a digital service and then people are actually going to come in and shop in our business i'm going to put some shots of what it looks like now so you can understand that we've literally done this from scratch we haven't spent tens of thousands of pounds on shop fitting we're just going for it guys that's proper entrepreneurialism and i am absolutely over the moon about it and for this 6 dollars they'll be able to come in, get 5% off, but we're also gonna send them digital recipe cards every month and put them in a closed Facebook group so they're part of a community. Love when people go to Costco. I go to Costco, I'm a member at Costco. They love telling you, I wanna create that same thing so that it creates loyalty. 5% off digital recipe cards, you're in a closed Facebook group, special offers for members, and if you live locally, we will deliver to you for free and we're gonna get a funky van that look, really stands out. I'm so excited about this business. So new website, better conversions, better products as well. We're now going to Spitalfields Market. If you've not heard of Spitalfield Market, this is in central London. It's one of the biggest fruit and veg markets in the country. Sorry, it's in Europe, but definitely in the country. So we're getting the best possible produce that we can get our grubby hands on into our customers. Better bakers, better bread, flipping fantastic. I'm so excited about it. And I just thought I'd give you an update to say, look guys, there is opportunity out there right now things can be done. Now, you may not want to go and open your own farm shop, but I just wanted to give you some encouragement that we've managed to set something up from scratch. I think it's going to be a million pound revenue business. I'll let you know in a year from today just how well we've done. But to get customers from scratch, the, the, I, th I suppose the message is here, right? The, the same amount of money exists in the world, gang. Money hasn't disappeared. It just goes in different pockets. So you've got to find out where the money's going and make sure your energy flows behind it. Um, and I'm big proud um, I'll just give a sound to my fantastic team that have made this happen and watch next week's video um, where I'm going to show you how I've led this in isolation because my missus is pregnant we're six weeks away from our baby number two so I haven't been able to get involved I've been leading this digitally so check that out in that video click this video here because it's going to help grow your business and subscribe to the channel by clicking here and let me know in the comments below what you think and if you love this video please give it a thumbs up because that helps us get the algorithm going thanks for watching I'm James Sinclair to grow your business that's where you come just here see ya bye